Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dr. Linz and today we're gonna do another review for you and this is a brand spanking new legging. What do we have here today? We have the Gymshark Speed Leggings and I wanna tell you about how I feel about these, okay? Just so you know, these are linked up directly below. When you shop directly from that link, it does help support me. I truly appreciate that so much because I have so much fun helping you guys find some leggings that you fit you good girl. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's get into it. You guys, the color of these, phenomenal. When I saw them on the website, I was like, I have to try the, what are the, what's, the what's the fancy color called? Moonstone blue, because I love my blues, especially the light blues. So as soon as I pulled these out of the packaging, I was like, ooh, these are so cute. So I do find that the color that you see on the website is true to what you get in person. Sometimes the color's a little skewed, but this, they match perfectly. So the color, definitely on point, definitely on point for the spring and summertime. Another thing that I really liked about these when I pulled them out of the packaging, I noticed that they are lightweight and they say that in the, des the description. So they're a more of a lightweight legging. I feel compared to the, even the Vital Seamless, which is one of my favorite leggings from Gymshark. So those are two awesome things for the spring and summertime because I don't like feeling super hot when I'm wearing my leggings, especially when I'm working out. Now the description said that these are made for running, but your girl doesn't really run too much, so I'll be lifting in these. And I feel like these are a great legging to lift in. Now, let me tell you if they're sheer or not, you're gonna have to hang tight for that. When I was putting these on, these bad boys on, you do have some seams at the top. Unlike the Vital Seamless, there's no seam on the top of the waistband. I have found when there's a seam on top of the waistband, I have to get them up over my hips. And it's kind of hard sometimes to do that because you don't have as much stretch when you're getting them up over the hips. And my hips are wider than my waist. So that was hard, <laughs> but I got them up over just fine. And once I did, these fit like a glove. So that's some extra seams to take note of. And then also when we're talking about the waistband, we do have this draw, these drawstrings. It's not a continuous one like Lululemon, they are separate. They're not as stretchy as Lulu's are. There's not really much stretch to them. They do have cute little Gymshark um, words on them, which is super cute detail. So creates so if you have a little bit of a looser waist, they're not gonna slip down, especially if you are running in these leggings. It's a nice feature doesn't ever bother me. Now, another thing, let's talk about the waistband. Is it wide enough to be a high-waisted legging? Yes, it passed the high-waist legging test. It is a good amount above my belly button. Looking at them, before I put them on, I was like, oh, the waistband doesn't look very wide. So I was concerned about that, but it's perfect. It's double layered. It holds me in nicely in that midsection, just how I like it. So two thumbs up, pass the high waistband test. Now let's talk about some more features we have on the front. We're gonna talk about those seams. We have a seam in the front. Vital seamless, hence the name seamless. There's no seam in the front. I was kind of concerned about the camel toe front area, but once I got it all situated with my laser cut underwear, I was good to go with no camel toe. However, it is something just to be aware of is there is that front seam, but I didn't really have too much of an issue with it. With them being more lightweight and a thinner material, wearing a nude color laser cut underwear is going to be the way to go, in my opinion, um, so you don't see your underwear, see through it, or even see the lines because they are more lightweight. As we move down the legging, we do have a seam on the outside, and we also have a black feature here. It's just to add, I think, a little bit of a pop, something a little different, something a little edgy. I don't think it's reflective. I was wondering if it was. It didn't say in the description that these were reflective. So that's there, which I don't mind. And then we also have the Gymshark logo on the bottom of the ankle in the front on the front side. So that's kind of a different place. It blends in, it's a silver logo, maybe reflective, I'm not sure. So there's that detail as well at the bottom. So we have a seam on the inside, we have a seam on the outside. Now let's go to the bootay to the back. All right, so the glutes here, we have no V up or shading under the glutes. So nothing like that, but I don't feel like they made the booty look bad because I mean, 
their Gymshark leggings and I don't think they do a ba bad job with the legging in general. So just because it doesn't have the extra detail, I still think it does make the booty look good. One thing, since I did get the lighter material, I felt like they could be a little bit sheer depending on the lighting, uh, what kind of workout you're doing, if you're doing squats and deadlifts and what kind of underwear you're wearing, they can perhaps be a little bit sheer. So with the darker ones, I don't think they would have that high of a risk. That's my opinion on that whole thing. Some other features we have here is a Gymshark logo in the back. It's a black strip with Gymshark written in the middle of it. Super cute, something different. And then we're going to have three separate pockets in the back. So it's just a seam at the top. And then they actually is a continuous, super long pocket. So I like that because it gives you room to put whatever you want in the back of your pocket, especially if you're running errands or you have to go somewhere after the gym, you can just put stuff back here. You got plenty of room for that. Overall, I really love these leggings. I was surprised. I was nervous getting them on over my hips. I absolutely love the color. I think it is so cute. I think it's great for spring and summer and it's more lightweight and breathable, I feel, which I really like that for this time of year. So again, they are linked up below. Feel free to check them out. Oh, these are size medium. <laughs> these are size medium that I'm wearing. You can check them out below. It does help support me and I appreciate that so much. Until next time, if you guys have any suggestions, put it below in the comments and I'll review it for you. We'll talk to you guys later.